nearly got the chord wrong at the end. Nearly. Nearly, nearly. Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey. I'm Paul Drew. From the Studio Rats. Ah, and yes. sir, it is a delight to be back. I'm sure it is. In the year of our Lord, it 2024. It is. It's the first one, first one together of 2024. Yes. What have you brought? What is this thing? What in the hold on a second? What is this grubby, grubby, grubby thing? I've seen what this thing should look like. Yes. It's definitely not that colour. No. I mean, it's... I think it's seen some action. But, you know, that's what you get when you buy from the auction in a mud pit. sometimes. Um, this is a Fender Supersonic 22. 22 what? 22 what? Uh, dual channel. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is kind of known as a bit of a Fender sleeper amp. Is it? Um, yeah, I, I posted this onto socials. Mm -hmm. And everyone went, oh my God, Fender sleeper amp, you know, amazing. Oh. Um, is it the 22? That's the one you want, you know, things like that. I thought they only did one. There's a 50 as well. Is there? Yeah, okay. it's like 50 or 60, one of the two. Okay. Um, but this is the one you want, apparently. Okay. Um, it's lovely, lots of lovely valveness. Mm. Um, and it sounds... Sounds awesome. Really good. Really, really awesome. nice. It's fat, isn't it? What is that? That is, when you say fat, that is the fat button. Uh, okay. We have a pedal on top, which is... Um, Connected via a seven pin din to the pedal button at the back, the pedal slot at the back. So we've got um, fat and normal on the okay, well let's, channel. Let's hear that. Let's hear that. And then we've got vintage stroke burn. So, so it's a vintage being clean, burns, but burn is channel two, nasty. Okay. That's a great overdrive tone. So there's no master volume as such for the clean channel. It's just volume, yep. treble and bass, and you can switch between Classic. Um, the normal and fat section. Yep. Uh, on the burn channel, we have two gains. Why? Cascading gains, I'm guessing. Um, if I wind that gain down, so that's all the way off. Yep. Okay, so hold on. Quite tight for, for for something that's cranked up on full gain. That's quite tight. But then, go on then. But like all things, to me, it's about balance. Do you, know, do you know what it is for me? What? Oh, that's quite nice. You can, that sort of let through a little bit more dynamic. <laughs> but for a tone that's just coming out of the amplifier without any pedals, that's yeah. great. You stick a boost in front of that, that'll be. And actually, if you stick a tube screamer in front of it to tighten up yeah, the volume, yeah. it sounds really nice. I bet it does. Because it is a little bit flubby. I think. It's a bit flubby with gain two, I right. think. Now turn gain two down. Yeah, and then crank up gain one. Gain two all the way down. Yeah. Gain one up. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. I don't know why they put gain two in. I like the balance personally. I like, there somewhere for me.
I like it. It's really cool. It's got an effects loop in it. Show, show, show everybody the, uh, the pedal. The pedal is good. We've got a uh, switchable reverb, yeah. switchable effects loop. You can go between the normal and fat on channel one. Yeah. And cha obviously, you know, it's a four switch pedal. Uh, it's very, very, very solid. Why is it, Why does that look like it's been taken off a different amp? I don't know. What? Why do amplifier brands mm. do that? I, I, I appreciate this is probably, with a different logo on, goes to a number of different amps. But it has no resemblance to anything Fender, does it? See, the head looks like, sort of like a basement style yeah. head. And then they put this sort of 80s weird... You know, like they used... It's been covered in hammerite, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it's great functionally, yeah. it's really good. I mean, yes, I know we joked at the time that um, whoever it was had it before, and there was a number of items in the auction that had no um, handle, no strap handle. Yes. Uh, as it turns out, the handle is inside it. Okay. So good. I've got to now source some proper fender bolts to remount it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Because it's through into captured. Yeah, yeah. It's not cool. just screw the top. Um, once I've done that, I'll have the handle back and it'll be, you know, and I'll clean it up a bit, to be fair. It does, it has seen... It, it needs a good hosing down. <laughs> yeah, it needs it needs a good um, clean off. But actually, I get it. I get it as a sleeper amp. You know, it's, it's, it doesn't sound overly Fender-y. Normally, Fender, Fender amps and the distortion channel have a Fender oh, sound. And yeah, it's yeah, not... Yeah one I particularly like. No, 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 that's but, got a much tighter, that's got a much tighter yeah. drive tone. And the clean tone mm -hmm. sounds fendery and lovely and stuff. The only thing I wish, and I think this might be the reason that I'm looking for, potentially looking like for a, a Vibralux or a Vibraverb, something like that, mm. is vibrato. Yeah. I wish it had vibrato, but you know, yeah. you're not gonna get everything in one amp, are you? Or are you, who knows? I see, I, yeah. I think you might be right there. I think that'd be great with a vibrato channel. But you can put on a pedal. Sure. And there are plenty of good pedals out there. And it's switchable effects loop, so yeah. which is good. So it bypasses the effects loop. I don't know what the effects loop on it's like, if it's any good, but. And anyway, why have you bought this? Before we give some more, um, some more examples, why, why did you buy this amp? Well, for the normal reason that you and I are collecting amplifiers at the moment. Um, I've done Four. a full capture pack for Tonex. For Tonex. And that's available on our website and on IK Multimedia's Tonet. Yes, indeed. Uh, 10 lovely captures, some of just the amp, some with pedals, our favourite sort of drive and distortion mm. pedals. Um, and it sounds really good. I used it on a track just the other day that mm -hmm. sadly won't see light of day on the channel. Mm -hmm. But it sounds so nice. It's, it's got that really nice tight sounding mm -hmm. overdrive. It's not... Uh, it's it's hard to say nice things about Fender distortion channels normally, I think. Because I like Marshall. I like the Marshall yeah, yeah, Voxy yeah, yeah. tones. If you like that, yeah. Um, whereas this sounds really nice. It's got a really nice kind of oozy richness to it. Should we hear it some more? There's a reason why I play that because the chords, yeah, especially that chord on a lot of amps, tends to go. Great, it's really glassy. Of course, you can juice that up a little bit. I'm not a massive fan. I reckon that would be great with single calls. Yeah. Why don't we find out? <laughs> oh, oh, goat. And then, of course, you can go full fill. Oh. 
I love it. Great. I've done well. You have done well. Goodbye. So, uh, if you want to go and check out the captures, you can do. They're available on our website and on IK Multimedia's Tone Net. Or go and buy the real thing because it's awesome. Really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the studio. At so I'm Paul. I'm James. And we'll see you next time.